guys, my name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher, Google certified educator, and doctoral student on game based learning. Today, I'm going to show you how we're going to use Microsoft Teams to engage with our students and co teachers in an online environment. Microsoft Teams is a tool that lets people interact online through the use of chat, video, sharing files, and pretty much everything that a lot of other remote learning tools can do. The key difference with Microsoft Teams is that its security protocols have been proven over a long period of time. So for privacy concerns, it actually is the ideal option for our students and some school districts like mine are actually requiring that we use this as opposed to some other video sharing platform. It is an ideal tool for interacting with colleagues and students and today I'll show you how to set it up as a teacher. Quick note on my channel, there's quite a few tutorials for teaching online and some lighthearted comedy skits. If that appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. Now, let's get to the tutorial. This is Microsoft Teams for teachers right now. Begin by going to teams.microsoft.com. Log in with your school's Microsoft email. At this point, you are in the Microsoft Teams home page. If this is your first time here, it's going to look slightly different with no Teams. On the left panel, click Calendar to arrive at the page where you can schedule or immediately start your meetings. On the top right, click on the Meet Now button to begin your meeting. Be sure to allow Microsoft access to your microphone and camera. Title the meeting appropriately. These buttons allow you to shift your camera and microphone on and off. The Devices button lets you decide the input and output sources. Click Join Now. Your meeting is going to start with you as the sole person. The control bar at the bottom once again allows you to mute yourself, turn your camera off, and share. Sharing can allow you to share files that are currently in your OneDrive, it can also allow you to screen share your desktop or window. You can share individual tabs, your entire screen, or a particular application so that your viewers will be able to see it. You can also share the Microsoft Whiteboard which is, as the title implies, a whiteboard where you can write. Click the Stop Presenting button to stop sharing. The Show Conversation button allows you to chat with your students and colleagues in a chat box on the right side. The Show Participants button allows you to see that you are the only one in this meeting. You can invite someone by typing in their email. You can also invite them by their phone number. The little button next to the invitation part, the Copy Join Info, allows you to copy the information to your clipboard. The same information can be accessed by clicking on the three dots and clicking Show Meeting Details. Use this to provide information to your attendees about how to join. The More Actions button also provides you further details 
such as device settings, the keypad, and if you wish to start recording. The Show Meeting Details button, again, is what provides you the information you need to share with your participants. So click Copy Join Info to share your meeting information. Quick note, the Join Microsoft is a hyperlink, and that does not work in platforms such as Google Classroom. There, you need to right-click and copy the link address to paste in Google Classroom, as I'm going to do so now. I am using Google Classroom here, but this pasted link can go anywhere where you interact with your students so they can click on it and finally access your meeting. This is perfect for blog posts or even the Remind app. Back in your email, you can take simply the joining information and paste it word for word. This hyperlink will allow participants to join your meeting with a simple click or a telephone call. At this point, back in the meeting, I now have a guest. When I go to show participants, my co-teacher is in. And after a few seconds of unbearable waiting, my co-teacher finally joined. We actually had a rather interesting conversation, but for some reason my screen recorder refused to pick it up. And after minutes of deliberating, we finally realized that we both understood the software fairly well. And that is how we shared our meeting in Microsoft Teams. So that's it. This was the Microsoft Teams tutorial for teachers. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to address them to the best of my ability. And if videos like this appeal to your interests, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. This is Paxani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.